First, the University of Nottingham says there will be a full investigation into a student party that was shut down under coronavirus laws. The teenage host has been fined £10,000 for refusing to stop the event. And from today, strict new rules have banned social gatherings of more than six people. Our social affairs correspondent, Jeremy Ball, can tell us more. Good evening, Jeremy. That fine has raised a lot of eyebrows, hasn't it? It has, Dominic. £10,000, that's a hefty penalty, isn't it? Crazy and ridiculous were some of the reactions I had from some of those students' neighbours. Nottinghamshire's chief constable, though, says it's fair and proportionate under the Covid laws because the host refused to shut the party down and when police turned up, they found 50 people, which is a serious breach of those rules. Now, when I went round to their house in Lenton, we didn't get any answer. When I called, they made it clear they didn't want to comment, but their neighbours have been given an explanation. This letter of apology says what happened on Friday night was foolish. Uh, they say this was a birthday gathering. Only 25 people had been invited. And the letter goes on to say they were hoping to have a celebration that stayed within the COVID regulations, but it quickly got out of hand and it was a major lapse of judgment. And today their university said it will investigate every student who went to that party. It is deeply unfortunate. They knew what the rules were. We've advertised the rules ourselves. They've been well publicised nationally. So it is deeply disappointing that a student of ours has broken those rules. But I think it's very, very clear that that kind of breach will not be tolerated by the police or by ourselves. And I think that no one, especially now the rules have changed and tightened up, will do anything like that again in the near future. And today, of course, we've got even tougher rules. Yeah, because, of course, that student party uh, broke a ban on groups of more than 30. But from today, it's been illegal to have any social gatherings of more than six people. Now, there are going to be some exemptions for things like work and weddings. And the police say they're going to start by encouraging people to stick to these new rules. Enforcement is a last resort that we will use only when absolutely necessary. But in certain circumstances, we won't be afraid to use it if we really need to. £100 in the first instance. But if they repeat offending, this can raise to over £3,000. And is this just about young people breaking the rules? No, our experience here in Nottinghamshire is it's not confined just to young people. I know there's a focus on young people at the moment, and I think that's primarily about the return to university, but it does cut right across all age groups. Is it really credible, though, to suggest that you've got the resources to enforce this? Well, it's um, part of our role and we have to uh, accommodate that. And I think we've got to take this seriously because there's a virus that's spreading and we're on the verge of a second wave. Um, and the police as an organisation have a role to play in trying to prevent that happening and to reduce the impact of that. And the big challenge, of course, there's still a fair amount of resistance to this new so-called rule of six. In fact, this afternoon uh, in Nottingham, I've seen protesters convinced that COVID doesn't exist. And in fact, today, uh, the police were still waiting for details of these new regulations, despite the fact they'd already come into force. And the Derbyshire and Leicestershire forces told me that meant they couldn't start enforcing the new law. OK, Jeremy Ball, thank you.